Here we are again. Welcome back to Real Life Fishing uh, for all 13 of my subscribers. Two whole more than I mentioned last time. Thank you both, whoever you are, even though I'm sure I know both of you. Uh, at any event, um, here we are on uh, this wonderful Sunday afternoon. Just got done fixing all of my maps. Uh, if you watched the uh, previous couple of episodes there. But um, so... I'm sure at least some of you are wondering, why am I not out fishing on a beautiful Sunday afternoon? Uh, you might hear the thunder in the background on this video. Um, so if that doesn't clue you in, uh, the other answer is that it is Africa hot out. Uh, it's like 92 or something. Um, that is just miserable to be uh, out there sitting on the water. Uh, no shade and there's no wind today. Um, it's a, just a rough day for, for fishing in terms of heat. So... Uh, what are we looking at here? All right, so we're looking at uh, transducer for my helix. And I'm sure that at least one of you is in the know. And you're looking at this thinking, hey, dumbass, you installed that on the wrong side of your boat. Right? Because if you only have one of these, it's supposed to be on the other side. And you only see one in this, uh, this picture, don't you? Yeah. Well, let's go over to the other side. There's two more. Look at that. So why do I have three transducers on my boat? Uh, first of all, everybody should have at least two. <clears throat> These two that we're looking at here. Um, the reason that everybody should have at least two is these imaging transducers are pretty expensive. Um, you know, I think these go uh, 350 bucks or so. Uh, and then there's that, that little one there, right? That's just a little 2D only, right? That's a, a little skimmer. You can get those for, I don't know, I think 50 bucks or something like that. Um, so that skimmer hangs below the bottom of the boat and the imaging transducer is above it, right? I don't know if you can make that out there, but yeah, there you go. That's probably a little bit better, right? Um, so the reason they're installed like that is so that if I hit anything floating in the water and I knock off a transducer because it's hanging below the bottom of the boat, I want to knock off that cheap one. I don't want to knock off that expensive one. Um, so the imaging transducers are above the bottom of the boat and the 2D skimmer sits below the bottom of the boat so that it's in the water when the boat is up on plane. Uh, and those imaging ones get pulled up out of the water, right? So I've got the one imaging one over there and another one over here, right? So now you're saying, well, geez, why do you need $700 worth transducers on the back of the boat? Um, well, the answer to that is that I really, really like my side imaging. And when the motor is trimmed under all the way, it can actually get in the way. I don't know if I'll be able to do this with it being, no, nope, I'm gonna hit the concrete. So anyhow, uh, when the motor is trimmed under all the way, um, it can get in the way of uh, the imaging. You know, I mean, hell, it can be in the way of the imaging right now. Um, you know, if I were only using one transducer. But since I've got an imaging transducer on this side, and I've got an imaging transducer on this side, there's a Y cable that you can buy from Humminbird that splits the signal so that the, trans the side imaging transducer on this side only gives me the right side and the one over there only gives me the left side, right? So I don't have to worry about the motor being in the way and blocking part of the side imaging beam. Um, my 2D comes from that little 2D skimmer, uh, which is split off using another Y cable. So I've actually got two Y cables in the boat. Um, and then the uh, down imaging comes from the right-hand transducer and the left-hand transducer only provides left-hand side imaging. Um, and then temperature comes from uh, that little 2D guy as well. Um, I believe, I'd have to double check that, but uh, if it doesn't come from the little 2D guy, then it comes from the right-hand side imaging. Um, but, so that's why you wanna have uh, multiple transducers on your boat, right, so that the motor doesn't get in the way and block part of the left-hand beam, right? Because if you've only got one, you're supposed to install it on the right-hand side of the boat, you know, on the, on the driver's side, uh, the starboard side. Um, 
So it should be installed on, on this side, and uh, according to Minkota, and uh, or I'm sorry, according to uh, Humminbird, um, and then you know the left hand side, you will uh, part of that will be blocked, you know, unless you've got a bass boat with a with a big jack plate or or something like that. But um, another thing about transducer installs is uh, those that board that the transducers are actually mounted to. Um, that's just a, a piece of plastic. It's a composite board. You know, I used them on, on both sides. I picked them up at the local, uh, the local farm store. You know, they sell fishing stuff and they've got graphs and, and um, uh, you know, these graph mounting brackets or boards or whatever they're called. But they're just, just a piece of plastic. Um, and I screwed that into the hull. Uh, so then that way I can move transducers around, replace them, whatever, uh, without having to drill more holes into the hull. You know, you can see there, there's some, some extra holes, you know, things have been moved around, replaced, whatever. Um, and I didn't have to drill any more holes in the boat. They're just in that plastic. Um, so it, it, uh, it works out very well. Uh, it's another thing I would definitely recommend. And uh, it's something that, um, you know, a lot of the, uh, the dealerships uh, don't install. You know, they'll just screw your transducers right into the, right into the hull, you know, right into the transom and uh, put holes in your boat. Um, and that's all fine and dandy if you're not gonna if you're not gonna move them ever. But uh, if you're gonna move them or replace them or upgrade or or anything like that, um, then yeah, that uh, that can become a problem. Um, so another benefit though of having uh, the the two different side imaging transducers like this is that uh, you can adjust them uh, for tilt independently, right? So you look on the forums or the Facebook groups and you see guys uh, quite frequently, hey the the right-hand side of my imaging is nice and bright, but the left-hand side is dim or, or vice versa, right? And so what happens there is that when you mount these, right, um, the, the tilt this way, right, controls that brightness, right? Because if, if so this right-hand one, if I've got it tilted like this, then a lot of that right-hand imaging energy is going to be directed toward the surface of the lake instead of down into the lake to pick up the bottom right but then if this is the only one then the left hand one is going to be mostly directed down right and so you're going to get more of it back because it, there's not so much even going to the side uh, so in that case then the left hand side would show up very very bright and the right hand side would be dim um, so having two different ones uh, you can adjust them independently right and that's really nice for uh, if you don't always fish with the same co-angler uh, or if you don't always fish with an empty boat, right? If you've got different numbers of passengers or uh, just different passengers that, that you know, weigh different amounts to, than one another, um, you know, the boat's going to sit different in the water. And so it might be cocked a little bit to the starboard one trip, cocked a little bit to the port the next, right? So having the ability to, uh, uh, to get those imaging transducers adjusted perfectly uh, to ensure the best quality image you really need two of them uh, in order to do that. Um, so that's the reason why I chose to do that. Uh, and then you'll see that uh, my cable routing is, uh, is nice and clean. Uh, some folks don't like the fact that, you know, I come up through these little flaps on the bilge, but uh, whatever. So water, water comes in there, you know, water goes back out there too. I'm not, I'm not that concerned about it. But, uh, you know, so the cables all go up then um, right into here. Uh, along with the throttle cables and, and all that other stuff, um, you know, and here's my, my puck, right? We were looking at that from the, from the driver's seat of the boat, um, right? So there's the puck, there's the transducer, right? I could not get that puck any closer to the location of that transducer unless I mounted it on the top of the transom here itself. Uh, and I wasn't going to do that. <clears throat> so that's where it is. I'm, I'm pretty close. Uh, now I just got to remember to make sure it's selected uh, on the graph while I'm recording, right? Um, for those of you that were curious, I did manage to save at least some of that data, um, but uh, yeah, most of it was garbage and it's gonna need to be redone. Uh, but so if we get back to trailering now, I didn't have the, uh, the back of the trailer very accessible when I did the, uh, the video about the trailers, but um, so you can see uh, my reverse lights on the, on the trailer, um, but these transom straps here, um, these are made by uh, boat buckle, right? And if you don't have these on your boat, uh, I highly recommend that you get them. Um, right, they're on both sides, of course. You know, they're they're sold in a pair, 
But uh, the, the thing I really like about them, see if I can capture this on the video here. Um, yeah, so you, you just click here and they pop loose. And they're spring loaded so they don't drag all over the place, right? That bottom piece is obviously bolted to the trailer. Um, but so they're not dragging all over the place. And then you get the boat back on, you're rehooking up, you just grab, put it back in the eye, right? And then done. Um, very nice. If, uh, if your boat doesn't, uh, doesn't have them on there, you can pick them up. Um, I think this size of them here was, uh, oh, I think you can get them on sale if you find them for around 50, 55 bucks. I think the regular price is, um, probably somewhere around 80 or 90, uh, if I'm not mistaken, but, um, in any event, uh, yeah. So that's, uh, that's transducers and, uh, Reverse lights and all that. Uh, also, in case anybody's interested, uh, that guide roller right there in the center, um, those are pretty easy to replace. Um, you can get all the all the parts for it on Amazon. Um, uh, buddy and I were out and um, didn't have the boat. It was a new lake that uh, we had never fished before. It didn't have the boat deep enough in the water. And I went to load it and I caught the edge right here, this, this cap uh, with the keel. Um, didn't really damage the boat at all, thankfully, but uh, popped this uh, popped this cap off. So then the bar that that guide roller sits on uh, was loose. It only had a cap on one side, um, and it did end up uh, working itself loose. And I lost uh, the roller, the bar, and I also lost uh, my my motor toter or transom saver or whatever you guys want to call those. So um, you know that was a kind of a, a rather large. For an unexpected expense, um, you know, totally unexpected. Had to rebuy all that crap and then, you know, put that all back together again. Um, kind of annoying. So uh, if you happen to pop one of those, uh, don't think you can drive around with it. Uh, get that fixed. Get that replaced. Um, do it yourself. You can get, let's like say, you can get the parts on Amazon. The uh, the bar, the caps, and the roller from Amazon were a grand total of, I don't know, thirty or forty bucks or something like that. Um, but that. That stupid transom saver deal there that was I don't know 70 or 80 dollars or whatever uh, it's kind of irritating that uh, that I lost that but it is what it is these things happen so um, yeah. hopefully you guys learned some about uh, how transducers are mounted on here and if you've got any questions feel free to drop them in the comments and make sure that you uh, hit that subscribe button down there in the in the bottom right if you haven't yet uh, 13 is an unlucky number I need more see you guys